So, do you want to go? Where's Morgan? I know he's gonna. Oh, he did something. He turned on the. He turned on his webcam. He's probably going to show up when I introduce him in the podcast. That's why I'm. It's. Uh. Socks. We're going to kill you all! Yay! Look at us. Here we are. Right where we belong. Da 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 For seven whole minutes waiting for a good cue, and all I get is, oh, Morgan's missing. <laughs> <laughs> you were waiting down there that whole time to so yes! come up and do your. Uh... Yes! I was there on my knee with two socks on my hand waiting to do that bit. I thought you were going to the bathroom or something. No. I wanted to surprise you guys, but it was, oh, hey, Morgan's gone. After seven whole minutes. <laughs> You, you had any time to get in there. You realize that, right? <laughs> we really have to get the sketch in. Please. <laughs> it might oh, be the cold. It's gonna I be. I can't say no to you, Kurt. <laughs> Yay! That was the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, Cookie Monster. Next time you can sing the song it, it, of Simp Monster. Probably works better. I'm going home. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah, I have to hear that bullshit! It's G! It's G! Cookie Monster isn't in a letter! It's a man! It's a man with a sock on its head! I mean, oh, yeah, it's G! G! Yay! <laughs> oh, there's. Thank you, Doug, for getting those two bits stuck in my head for the past weeks. Yes. And now that we have the whole group here... I guess you know to me, Bill. <laughs> now that we have the whole group here, I... Uh... Mike? <laughs> Mike is going to lose his mind. Any oh, he's, he's, he's going to lose his mind even more when I do my bit later. Oh. Fuck me. This is the greatest group in the world. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I... you're gonna, you, Mike, you're gonna lose your mind when you, when you hear what I'm about to tell you, actually. Go on. Um. Well, in San Jose, in about a month, there's going to be the Silicon Valley Comic Con. And guess who has press pass? Ooh, for the who? Man, the man with two thumbs and a beard? And he also has two pinkies and two pinky toes and uh, something that vaguely remembers uh, something that vaguely resembles uh, blonde hair. I'm Holy going to Comic Con. Mike! <laughs> You're going to Comic Con? What the fuck, James? Is it G Comic Con? Uh, well, I, I, just want, I just want to check up on something. Uh, I'm going to a Comic Con, not the San Diego Comic Con, which everybody loves, but the Silicon Valley Comic Con. Which, uh, let's take a look at who's going to be there. Wait, wait, like, who are you doing it for? Since you have, like, the press screenings. Geek Club Books. Oh. As the organization that... Oh, uh, right. The one that the, helps uh, with autism and stuff? Or... Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that's the one. The Organization for Autistic Writers. And let's go ahead, do a bit of a, a screen share here, so I can show you who's going to be there. You might recognize some of these folks. Me! Oh no. <laughs> On screen. That was funny. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my god, Jeff. Huh? Oh. Yes. Yeah, damn. It's gonna be 
some freaking amazing people. Uh, God dang it. <laughs> Chrome, hey, what are you doing? Chrome is being stupid. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Now you won't get a con convoluted picture. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody except for Tom Wilson, who I'd also like to meet. I uh, don't know who these people are. Well, John Hender, that's Napoleon Dynamite. Ooh, oh, you oh yeah, that's... Amy Pond from Doctor Who. Oh, wait, that stupid Napoleon Dynamite movie? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then he also made this one other movie with Will Ferrell, and that was kind of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the skating one, I think. You lost me, Will Ferrell. <laughs> yeah, Blades of Glory, there we go. Mm -hmm. oh. And... Everyone else here? The, every... Pretty much everybody else. Hey, William right. Shatner, Nathan Fillion, Stan Lee, Jeremy Renner. Some of them. The, the guy admit, that recently some... did a cameo in that Deadpool movie. Some of those, I'll admit, like, I can only get one at a time as a major special guest. Like, like um, William Shatner was one major one, and then one time was Stan Lee. Like, I remember getting uh, getting Christopher Lloyd also. I think, like, I think he walked, I think actually he walked past by me once. And he had, like, a bunch of, uh, like, bodyguards oh, yeah, surrounding him. Like oh my god, you're getting Alan Tudyk. Oh my god. Did, did, do, is that is how it? to pronounce it? Yeah, Alan Tudyk. Yeah, I'm excited you're getting Stan Lee. Yep. And the, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, I'm also kind of excited to meet Darth Maul here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy. Wait, that's his... Oh, I didn't oh, know... Yeah, the only good thing about Star Wars, uh, Episode One, except, well, other than the, the pod racing. There's a slip oh, and science. Science and oh, science attack. Oh, getting Adam Savage! Adam Savage? Yeah, it's from Mythbusters. Uh, a lot of... Um... This guy's name. This guy's name is Astro Teller. Currently oversees Alphabet's Moonshot Factory. When you have the name Astro, you kind of uh, <laughs> that limits your career choices. Yeah, pretty much. Um, authors. Oh, the Martian Arthur. Oh. Wait, who? The, the author oh, of The Martian, yep. Andy Weir. Yeah, oh, okay. that's pretty cool. Such my, a was it oh. my mom recently saw him at Book Passage. Huh. Cool. Artist, and, not, um, a, artist. not a current comic book artist. Oh, one of the, oh, I noticed the first one who's doing the uh, doing the comic of the the Dark Crystal. That yeah, Brett Brett Blevins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I don't. And on my end of things, I I don't. Uh, well, we're not comic book people, so... Exactly. I, yeah, I don't, I say, we're cosplayers. cosplayers. I do her, I do her, I do her. We do that guy, I do her. <laughs> Riddle me this. Do I look like the angry ginger? Um, oh, no. I don't know any of those cosplayers. I know some cosplayers. What the... Oh, nice. Check Ryan Wells. Somebody is cosplaying as frickin' Hoggle. Yeah, really. <laughs> Someone actually did a Hoggle cosplay. With oh, the mask and all. That's, that's cute. Wow. I mean, that's... I, I mean, I, I can't really hate on him for liking the character and all, but, you know, look, looking at the lineup here, you have... Uh, Typical. That, 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 that. That? Oh. It's mostly females, but yeah, oh, it's... That's normal for cosplay, though. It's usually females. Yeah, it's true. It's not a lot Come on. Well, what I'm, I'm saying is that they're all they're all comic book, actual comic book characters, and then you get to the bottom and it's like, Hoggle? Oh yeah, you're right. Well, nobody said it ha always had to make sense. I mean, you have to stand out. Yes, you have to do what you're passionate about when you're dressing up. Yeah, I'll... 
See, if I if I was to dress up, I would dress up to try to stand out. So I'll just be a Disney princess. Oh no, he's apparently he's also that dude from uh, uh, the Dark Crystal. The Dark Crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it is that guy. <laughs> it's looking at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Morgan, are you waiting off screen again? I, I think he's gone, gone. I was like, where is he? Huh. I wonder if that face actually moves, Hoggle. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. It looks like one of the garbage pail kids, I think. <laughs> It does actually. I could still see that, like, as part of the medieval garbage pail kids. We can do anything by working with each other. Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. You'll be in but your dreams forever. That, but do you honestly think that little runt of a cosplayer would be able to attract us a simple little girl like her? <laughs> see. I guess that's the Green Goblin? No? No, I thought that was the Riddler. I thought it was like some kind the... of iteration of the Joker. Oh, oh wait, oh, the next one, like other pictures, the Riddler. I have no idea who the French that yellow skin freak is. <laughs> what, maybe it's the yellow bastard or something? The yellow bastard. It must be some kind of evil Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I thought that he's orange. He's yeah, got gang green. We shouldn't be making fun of him. <laughs> oh my god. Don't make fun of the Oompa Loompas. They're freaking orange. That's pretty, that's pretty cool, actually, James. Uh, you, you're just gonna... Uh, get enjoy the event, or you're actually gonna produce, like, content, you know, making videos uh, while at Comic-Con? Uh, we're gonna be... We're gonna be, um... Sort of doing a... A write-up on this, you know. We're gonna. Oh, okay. We're gonna meet up with all these, all these guys. Me and Jonathan, uh, the guy that uh, voices the Blue Bee Palace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that actually, I wanted to mention that James. Like, hmm. I was surprised that like, like I saw in the advertising it says like, oh, the people working on the Blue Bee Palace show is also like they have Aspergers and stuff like that, blah blah blah. But I was surprised. It's like, oh, that guy is a legit, like, voice actor and stuff like that. And he did, like, stuff for video games and theme parks and stuff like that. And considering how you mentioned before that, like, you have a bit of an interest to, like, maybe get back into voice acting. It's like, dude, you already have a step up. You got connections and stuff like that. Yeah. <sighs> well, it, that, that's, that's one thing I'm going to have to talk to him about when I, when when we get to the hotel, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's that's see. Still just a thought, you know, like. mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm, uh, that's actually a very good idea. I, I, I hadn't thought of that. Schedule. Let's see. What do we got? Um, 5 p.m. Comic Con preview night. Oh, that's for. Fr that's for Friday. There's Saturday and Sunday. Well, the, yeah, you click there. You go. There, it's open from but 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Spotlight on Back to the Future at 12 p.m. And and then, so it's just there's nothing for the schedule, but you could go under panels, and they have a bunch of panels you can go to. Well, yeah, that'll be probably what you'll do. You'll find it's like find a panel to go to. That's the fun part. The show. Oh yeah. The show. No, 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 no. The show. <laughs> the show. Go under panels. Uh. Oh. Hey, Morgan. Hi, hi, Maddie. Yeah, long story short, um... Oh, My mother is taking care of something out of town with her work, so in the meantime, she's bunking with me until mom is um, out of the 
vicinity and someone takes over her shift. One of her clients is in the hospital and is overlooking them. Oh. Um, Say my prayers. So cute. So she's with me at the time being. Yay, you get to be with the doggie. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> So, Morgan, I was just showing these guys a little something I'm going to in about a month. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the folks at uh, Geek Club Books have gotten me press passes to Silicon Valley Comic Con. Yes. And uh, this, these are some of the folks that I might be meeting in about a month. Okay, uh, down you go. It's okay. It's okay. You can wander where you want. Don't worry. Oh yeah, you can you can sit right there in my cord. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, let's see there. Uh, don't know, don't know. Envious, envious. Eh, definitely envious. Very um, envious. Eh, somewhat envious, but not all the way envious. Yes, yeah, so this is the guy that that keeps Hawk the crossbow eye. cool. Yeah. Yep. Not very envious. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what? It, it, what? Leah Thompson. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you want, you can write down questions and I can I can ask them if I see these guys. I'll think about it. I'll get it on. Maybe get it on camera. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's in terms of the actors and you know celebrities. Oh, one, one more, one more. We've got one more. Oh, who's that guy from? I know he's from iRobot, but what else? So uh, Firefly. Fly. Yeah. Wait, don't know am that I mis well. Wait, am I mistaken? Hold on. He is prolific in the voice acting. He was um. In Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, Wreck It Ralph, Frozen, and all that stuff. Re yeah, Wreck It Ralph, Frozen, Big Hero Six. Nope, still yeah. not in DS. Oh wait, 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 was he the? Uh, was he uh, Baymax? No. No, 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 no. no. Wait, oh no, I don't think he was in Big Hero Six actually. Oh no, he is. You lie. Alistair, wait. Alistair Cray. It's okay, it's okay, dearie, it's okay, you can cuddle up right there. Yeah, I, thanks to Matt here, I finally figured out how to how to pronounce his last name, and now that I know, okay, it's so one of the most autumn last, awesome last names I've ever heard in my life. Exactly, I mean, keep in mind, we're trying, I mean, okay, Morgan, here, maybe this will help. He hmm. was apparently a Jeff in one of the episodes of Rick and Morty. Jeff, Jeff, why does the name sound familiar? It's in the episode called The Ricks Must Be Crazy. That's the one where all the Ricks are revealed to be in this giant who like universe of all time lords or something. If he has any anything to inhale and shout, it's scientific for you. Here, or Morgan, here's a better example. Okay, Alan Tudyk is Duke of Weaseltown in Frozen. I think I should have said him anything there. Hey, look, it's the author of The Martian. I never read that, to be honest. I saw the movie once for a date. And a bunch of comic book artists whose names I do not recognize, so I'll just uh, leave it at that. And then the cosplayers. And then the cosplayers. No. What? You, you you got the Skeksis cosplayer. 
I guess we get Z's cosplayer. We also got the Hoggle cosplayer. I can't believe they actually hired people to do this. No, they do. I mean, I mean, like that's part of their job and stuff like that. That's gotta be awesome to wear costumes as a job. I mean, it has to be. You do. It's called the freaking Disney Parks. Well, that. Besides that. What else? <laughs> Oh, Morgan, you didn't have to do that. It's Hoggle, not Norm. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that did not go as well as planned. Is it, you know, maybe, maybe here's a little bit of advice for next time. Eat, like, put a new sock in your mouth. Uh, not a used one. That was a new one. Oh, uh, okay. What, did you try to swallow it? No, I was trying to crumple it up and spit it out of my mouth like a giant projectile. What the hell do you know about eating socks? I did once after seeing Norm. <laughs> oh. Everyone did it after seeing Norm except uh except Evan's grandmother. That should be a quote of the day. What do you know about eating socks? In, in my time I was a connoisseur of eating socks. I normally found Hanes the most delicious. I don't I don't like socks. I love no. it. But James, just just enjoy yourself. I I'm just trying to have fun. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that, that was just the good news that I had to share uh, for you. Guys. And yeah, if you, so yeah, if you guys have any any questions for anybody that I'm gonna meet or that I might meet there, you know, uh, let me know. I should probably uh, ask uh, Leah Thompson what uh, if she uses a feather pillow. If she gets that, man, if she understands that question, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that movie <laughs> seriously crushed her. Uh, she doesn't mind talking about it, but good god, after making it and the way it bombed... She, she almost nearly couldn't even act. I'm dead serious. She, she even mentions it in the documentary. I mean, she's glad it has a cold following, but good gravy. Ah, uh, yes. Well, she... She has the... She has the luck of being part of that in a series of films that have a cult following. So, she's good. Yeah, she'll she's... live. She, she actually was in a John Hughes produced and written film called Some Kind of Wonderful. Don't think I've caught that one actually. I, I actually saw it recently and it, it wasn't so bad. Uh, that's, how, that's how Leah uh, met uh, her current husband now actually on the set of that movie, which was the director. Um, God, Howard. Oh, God, what was his last name? It was because he. Also directed Pretty in Pink, I believe, the, the, the other John Hughes producer in film. But yeah, it was kind of interesting. Excuse me. Uh, okay. I, uh, calm whole, down, calm down. This whole sock nearly, sock nearly gave me a heart burn. This whole time... Sock? I've been recording, so the audio's good, and actually, for the first time, the screen capture's actually fucking working. Yay! <laughs> like, I... Yes! <laughs> the screen capture just... is has been going on and on, so... Knock on wood. It keeps going. Knock on wood. Alright, so... Your sock eating will be... will be broadcast live! <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
will be one of two people in our, in our little niche that have actually eaten a sock live for viewers. Yeah, so the three people who actually watch those videos. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I got a fan base, so we got a fan base for this podcast. It gets up to a hundred views, you know, give or take a couple of weeks. Well, I, I was referring to the time that I ate a sock for uh, uh, Dan's pod, uh, Sonic Boom podcast. Oh. 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 I remember that. Uh, oh, no, no, I, 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 I ate a sock live once during that knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting bit. And I came on, had a sock in my mouth, yanked down and went, and knitting and knitting and knitting. And I remember episode oh, yeah. Was. Oh, crap, what episode that. was I that? that it's, it's, it's a weird bit. But... I, I, I knew it was a certain movie that ticked me off. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Were you talking about a movie during that time? No, I think one of you guys brought up a title, and I just went completely bonkers. And you guys were talking about it, and I muted my mic. Oh, and I was just going, like, really bananas or something. Oh, crap. <laughs> that, that's actually the issue of fine. I don't know. I I do have all the episodes in a playlist, so it's easier to f- narrate it down. It feels like a recent one, and I know it was, like, I think before... The... Does it have to do with Spirited Away or something? Mm-mm. No. Mm-hmm. No, because no. mm-hmm. I, like, I didn't talk about that to the fantasy one. That was audio only. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's see. According to the playlist I compiled, let's see. Yeah, you did the... Okay, that one, but the film. Let's see, video game. Zero percent. Terminator franchise. Mel Brooks. Dennis Hopper. Maybe, maybe it was probably either the zero percent or the Hopper one. Because that was, like, really near the tail end. I might have to look that up, actually. Oh, well. That was interesting. Uh, I'll be good for now. Alright. The full 90 minutes. I just want to say very briefly, originally, I was going to have, like, a three on my shirt. And it'd be sort of like, Oh, this is my 30th appearance. Here's the three. But where's the zero? I'm the zero. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Don Bluth, Gary Oldman, no. If we're if this is the fifty, where's the two? I'm the two. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. Touche, touche. Okay. okay, that's funny. For a moment there, I was like, "Hooray, self Yeah, I knew, I knew you were referring to one of the to one of the to one of their like updates on the <clears throat> on Dragon's Lair. Oh, I Just, feel so bad. I feel so bad for Gary. He had like this little short paragraph of a ramp out head dressed up as mice for nothing. Yeah, that one, I was like, what the it's fridge is that? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm still saving up for Charlie. Cheer up, Charlie. Charlie? What? Charlie and Anne Marie, so... Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. It, it's oh, actually, it's, it's, that it, one. Yeah, it's actually not too inexpensive. Just need to save up for that one. I always, I always nervously check back on it because I don't want to miss out on it. Nah, it seems like like every single one is fine. Mm. I already set up, if, like I already put everything set on yeah. on like the Daphne cell, so I'm good with that. Yeah, if if I if I have enough left over, I'm definitely going after the signed posters. And just a last minute uh, thing to cheer everybody up. There you go. Ninety six. That's good. Oh, baby. What? I'll just see as a spoiler. It's gonna load. Soon. We shall eat the baby. Eat the baby. Oh. We shall eat it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a cute to get little baby. Name that. I am, I'm not going to ruin this. We place. shall eat James, then eat the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the dingo right. ate your baby. Alright, fine, I'll do it. <clears throat> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, grips. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, grips. Chili, baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. I thought it was the only I'm one bigger than you in fortune. Get in my belly. <laughs> I thought oh. I was the only one who had that, uh, uh, who had that, uh, in sync jingle that they did. <laughs> See, honey, I know, I know boy bands too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy bands was my shit in the night. <laughs> so if, anyone's, if anyone's awake enough, I'll 
Actually, no, maybe I should show one of them. Hold on a second. I'm turning my camera off to avoid internet problems, but this is a little... <clears throat> but the internet's been decent, actually, to be honest. <clears throat> just, I didn't start the call, so it's not, like, fritzy or anything, so it's good. She's passing them out to everybody now. You too! <laughs> <laughs> this is what I learned from friendship! <laughs> oh. It's all about friendship, unity, kindness, and care. <laughs> it never ends! <laughs> Pluck you all. Beep! <laughs> Censor everything! <laughs> Look at the title. <laughs> I like how the titles just keep changing. Like, it's a train about to hit a cow and the cow's trying to move. And the train derails. Well, I'm doing the middle thing. Is it working? <laughs> Achoo! Scratching my head. Is it working? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this podcast was brought to you by the Water app. <laughs> Someday, Devin, we're all gonna sit down and watch Anchorman. <laughs> it has a it has a cute dog in it. You would like it. I like doggy. And there's bears, and Steve Carell. Okay. <laughs> and Paul Rudd, aka Ant Man. Okay. And Christina Applegate. All right. But, uh, you won me over with dogs and bears. You don't even need to mention the actors. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, when do we start? All right, are you warmed up? We're all warmed up. This Obviously. is our recording too, so I might try to make something out of this into something. <laughs> I don't know. This is comedy gold, as Morgan would say. <laughs> it's a comedy show. Comedy show. Huh? Oh yeah. I'm here too. Alright, I'm, I'm going last on my intro, because I already clued you okay. in what I plan to do. I know, I, I will try to cue it as best as I can here, so... Don't I'm spoil not spoiling it! I'm spoiling nothing! <laughs> as Charles Olsen Riley would say, it's perfect okay. build-up. It's between you and me, man. Don't worry, I'll set you up. Plus, the you being last thing would kind of be perfect for the whole episode. It's a nice little package. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. okay, let's go from, okay, Tarn. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 